All right, this is an instructional video uh, to make a basic map of UTM coordinates as uh, part of our instructions in mapping and interpretation. So what I'm going to do during this video is walk you through the steps that are also presented in the Word document. So first thing to do, of course, is to open up your ArcGIS account and go to a map. And so I'm at that point right now. Um, what I'd like to do now is select the Add option. Again, you'll notice that right here. And in this case, we're going to be adding layers from our own data. Uh, that's where I've set the data for you to use in this case. So here, what we're going to do is click on the Search for Layers. And if you'll notice in the instructions, the first one that I'm going to ask you to add is the UTM Zones layer. So I'm going to type in that UTM and hit go and you'll notice that if I scroll down here you should see the UTM layer. Now I don't see it here so we're going to um, search now and we'll see if we can find why there it is and we're going to click add and when we're done with that we're going to click done adding layers now we're going to do each of these as it is instructed here so here we have our UTM zones I'm going to zoom out a little bit you'll be able to see them um, select the contents tab right here you'll notice that that's the in a sense gives you options and what I'm interested in here again is we're going to be configuring this and again the instructions say next this is instruction number seven that I'd like you to select Create Labels. So we're going to click here, Create Labels. And under Create Labels, I'm going to ask you to label them with the zone. So I'm going to click on Create Labels. And what I'd like you to change this to is Zone. And so you'll notice that now I've changed the zone. I'm going to click OK. All right, so now we've got our map with our UTM zones. And I'm going to zoom out a little bit so we can see them all and we can see what the UTM zones look like across the world. Now, the next thing I'm asking you to do is the central meridians um, for zones 16, 17, and 18. So again, we're going to click on Add, Search for Layers, and in this case, again, what I'm looking for is the central meridians for zones 16, 17, and 18. And that's right here. So I'm going to click on Add. And you'll notice that those central meridians appear right here. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit and you can see those. Zones 17, 18, and 16 each have their own central meridians. Again, I'm going to click on Done Adding Those. And in this case, I want to change their characteristics. And so we're going to change their style options. That's kind of what I'm interested in here. And what I'm interested in them um, is to change those. And I'd like a dotted pattern. And so again, to change that, our central meridians, I'm going to click on the Change Style option. Select that. And then we're going to change the single symbol. I'm going to click on that. And we're going to click on its options. And we'll click on the symbol. I want to change that. And we're going to change it from that to a nice dotted line. And I'm going to click OK. Now you'll notice that each of those has a single dotted line. It's a little bit easier to see them there. And I'm going to click OK. And done. OK, so so far we've got our central meridians. And now I'm going to ask you to add a few more things. I'd like you to add three more layers. The, and these are the buffers. These are 500 kilometer buffers of that central meridian. So again, we're going to go up here to add, search for layers. And again, what we're looking for is the zone buffers. And so if I scroll down, you're going to see these buffers in each one of these. And if I go down far enough, we should be able to find these. And you'll notice, so here is the zone 17 buffer. I'm going to add that one. And then I'm going to add 
the zone 18 buffer right here. And so right now we have the two buffers. And now I'm going to have to add the 16. And now we have our three buffers. And you'll notice the important thing about these, I'm going to click on the done adding layers here. But the purpose of those is to see how the actual 500 kilometer distance is more, is far more in the poles um, than the zone itself. But in fact, the zones, remember, are six degrees wide. But in fact, the distance, that false easting, would go quite a ways out from that, that origin 500,000 uh, meters east. And so now I'm going to add the last issue here, and that is to add um, the zone boundaries and the SRU quad boundary. So again, we're going to go back up here, search for layer, and in this case again, we're looking for the zone 16, 17, and 18 boundary. Notice those three are in fact the zones themselves, and so the zones in contrast to the 500,000 meter buffer. And then the last piece that we're going to add is this SRU quad boundary. I'm going to add that. You know, that's going to zoom me way in, and everything else will disappear. And we're done with that. So now I'm going to zoom back out so we can kind of see what we're looking at. And there's our quads right here at this scale and the rest. Now, the last thing that I'm going to ask to do here is because I'm kind of interested in seeing these at a larger scale, I'm going to show you one more tool and that is I'm going to click here on the quads. Notice I'm going to click on the drop down here and I'm going to select the visibility range. Now you'll notice right now the visibility range is relatively small and what I'd like it to be is as large as I can get it. And so we're going to do it that large and we're going to click off of it now. And now what you'll notice is that no matter how far out I go, that little dot is still going to appear. Now obviously it's going to become very small. So now I'm done with this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit save and I'm going to save as. And in this case I'm going to ask that you save it as. And again if you look at the instructions, what I'm interested in is you saving this map and I would like you to save it so that we understand it as UTM coordinates. So please type in last name underscore UTM and again tag here will be UTM data. Okay and then you're going to save the map. Now once that map's saved now that will always be available for you. That's it for this video. Uh, if you have any questions please contact me.